So here is our voice activated blackjack thanks to the capabilities of Voxtrel with its function calling. So let's just go ahead and bet some money. So Mistral has released Voxtrel, which is a language model that is capable of not only understanding speech, but also transcribing it. Now, that is pretty cool, and obviously there are more and more models coming out like this. I do believe the first one that I really got hands-on experience with was Quen 2.5 Omni. Obviously, recently we played with Gemma 3N, which is very similar in capability to this. And when I say capability, I just mean its ability to transcribe and actually understand speech. Now, beyond that, something that's very interesting about this model is that it is actually capable of doing function calling, and they mention that specifically here in some of the key features listed in the Hugging Face model card for this. Now, truthfully, pretty much everything cool about this is summed up right here. There is also a blog post about the model, which is probably a little more aesthetically pleasing to read through. However, I will say this color palette is I'm a big fan, but it is rather bright, um, depending on your screen brightness. So with that, let's just kind of talk a little bit about this and some of the key features. Now, before we do that, I do want to mention here that if we scroll down, we will see that there were multiple versions of this released. There is the Voxtrel, which is a 24 billion parameter variant of this, as well as Voxtrel Mini, which is a 3 billion parameter variant of this. Now, I am going to personally be using the 3 billion parameter model today. As we will see, this does use up a relatively large amount of VRAM. Now, first and foremost, something that I think is really cool about this beyond the actual ability to perform function calling is the 32K context length. So as they say right here, that allows this to handle up to 30 minutes for transcription or 40 minutes for understanding. That is a significantly lengthy amount of audio. And while I'm not sure how specifically this would work, you could pipe in an episode of like a TV show, at least the audio file, and it would hypothetically be able to palatably transcribe all of the speech there. Now, obviously, if someone's talking over another person, I'm not quite sure how it would handle that, but you know, it's just hypothetically very cool and very capable. In addition to that, we have something that will be of note for a lot of folks. It is natively multilingual. I am not going to really be doing anything with that today as I don't see Farsi here and aside from English, which is how we will be playing with it. But I do definitely want to mention this as I know a lot of folks are interested in models that are not just English only. We have gone over the function calling straight from voice, which is awesome. And beyond that and the benchmarks, which I never really pay too much mind to, they do have some kind of like further improvements that they're planning to do down here if we take a look, which some of them are quite interesting to me, specifically non-speech audio recognition. Um, I do have a few um, specific use cases that I would be quite interested in testing that with. Uh, that's probably all I'll say about that. Speaker segmentation, audio markups such as age and emotion, world word level timestamps, which would be very interesting, and more. So with that, that is basically the crash course on this Foxtrel Mini 3B right here. Beyond that, we're just going to actually take a look at running this locally. Now, something that would likely be considered a downside to some is that they do suggest using this with VLLM. Obviously, we like VLLM and it is fast, but truthfully, the reason I'm getting this video out today and not yesterday or a little earlier is <laughs> dealing with getting VLLM working with the Blackwell architecture. So basically, just getting that set up and working properly with the NVIDIA 5000 series was a bit taxing on one's patience. So with that, the device that we're going to be using to run this today is a 59 laptop GPU <laughs> and then I do have it all set up so basically all I'm going to do is just copy paste this VLLM serve command here into the virtual environment that I had created to finally get this working and this will go ahead and actually load up the model it is already downloaded on my machine and they say that it takes up like it needs nine gigabytes of VRAM or something like that here from the Hugging Face model card. However, I noticed that using it with VLLM on my machine, it's using about 20. So um, VLLM, correct me if I'm wrong, but from my remembrance of using VLLM, it will automatically just allocate like the maximum amount of RAM that it would use for the context length, which I think is just still staying at 32,000. So that is partially to blame for the large amount of GPU utilization we're going to see right here. And basically, yeah, so we can see that kind of showing up right here a bit. And again, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm fairly certain that is the case. Beyond that, we can see that it's loaded now. It is using around 20 gigs of VRAM, which is rather large.
Now I'd like to do a quick demonstration of the capability of this model to transcribe speech. Doing that, there is just a little script right here that will go ahead and kind of do that. And what this is pulling from is basically a sample speech clip of Obama giving, I think, a farewell speech for his presidency or something like that. Besides the fact, this is three minutes and 24 seconds of audio right here. And essentially, once we run this script, we will go ahead and actually see this transcribe the entirety of that audio. Now, this is actually relatively quick. Again, this is a fairly new graphics card, but it is heavily power limited on Linux to 95 watts. And we can see right here that this is just giving us feedback in the terminal running the model and serving it through VLLM. And then from the terminal where we actually went ahead and ran that simple transcription script, we get the response of the transcribed audio. Now, while I'm not going to verbosely go through each word here and see how accurate this is, I will say that one of the things they touted here in the blog post or perhaps it was in the Hugging Face model card, was basically the clarity of this in terms of word error rate. So it performed favorably compared to other transcription things, meaning that it was less likely to make mistakes. And obviously that is something we would assume will get better over time and things of that sort. Now, because it would be kind of boring to just show transcriptions of different length audio files in the video, I have gone ahead and tried to tap into some creativity and just made a couple of really simple games that will showcase not only its ability to understand speech, but to actually do function calling, which is really quite interesting because that opens up a lot of possibilities for actually using a voice activated model to perform almost physical tasks like controlling a smart home or something of the sort. Now the first here is rather boring and kind of command line based, but it is really just a little text adventure game where you go ahead and actually speak to perform different actions with the um, game character, which we'll see. Look around. So as we can see in the terminal right now, it's going around and actually taking our commands and using function calling with them to actually like tell this little character or control the gameplay logic, which is cool. So. Um, Basically, I don't, all right. Move north. You walk north, okay. So then it shows like we're here, okay. <laughs> it's hard because it's just, it doesn't have voice activity detection, so that's why it's kind of just set to do four seconds. But this is just a really simple demo of like its capability. So I will do one more thing like, move west. All right, well, <laughs> that's like a really simple kind of command uh, demonstration of its capability of like function calling just to kind of control a game state by understanding what I say and then performing those specifically defined actions in the actual game. Now, because that is um, perhaps a bit simple, I went ahead and made something a little cooler, at least for me personally, and that is what we see right here. So as I do Python app.py, this is actually going to spin up a little web interface here where we can actually play some blackjack, but using our voice. So here is our voice activated blackjack, thanks to the capabilities of Voxtrel with its function calling. So let's just go ahead and bet some money. Bet 100 going all in. All right. I have 15 and the dealer has 10. Hit. We'll stay. Stand. All right. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, you know, this brings me to like the thing where, uh, monetary loss actually activates like some of the same circuits in the brain as physical pain, even though this is entirely fake. Um, so I have no money left. Uh, let's just go ahead and fix that. Re oh, son of a, it saved the game state, you piece of crap. All right, so basically we'll, <laughs> we're just gonna rerun it from here and then I won't be as um, brazen with my betting, I suppose. Now, obviously this is gonna be a bit of a shorter video because there's only so much you can kind of do, but this is just a, again, like kind of showing some of the possibilities with function calling. Obviously you could also do like a smart home, like turn off lamp. I don't have any smart home stuff, but that is also like a big area of interest for a lot of folks. Yes. Bet 20. Yes.
Let's go. All right, so I have $130 now. Didn't I have 100 And I bet. Replay. Yeah, that's good, huh? <laughs> bet 100 Oh, we're making bank today. Stand. Stupid dealer. All right. <laughs> Again, this was just kind of more of a simple demonstration. There's obviously only so much I can really do with this to, like, capture attention before it just gets kind of boring and repetitive. So with that, uh, this is actually quite fun. I just wanted to demonstrate this model right here. Again, it is really cool. I will say I think one of the current downsides of this, at least for the hobbyist, is depending on your hardware, getting VLLM set up can be kind of cumbersome. If you have a 3000 series, it will probably be easier or a 4000 series. I think on the Blackwell, there's still a bit of tweak. Blackwell is just like the 5000 series. It's still perhaps a little more difficult to get everything set up and going, but it is hypothetically possible, as we saw right here. So with that, this is Voxdrill Mini 3B. And remember, there is also a 24 billion parameter variant of this model, which would probably be very impressive. Unfortunately, I do not have the computative capability to run such a thing. So with that, that is going to wrap up a quick little video on Voxdrill Mini 3B2507. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have any negative comments, please feel free to not leave them. And thanks for watching.